Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you notify every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, don't mind the title y'all because I found this picture on Reddit. So I'm not quite sure if it's old or new, but it did say 10 hours ago it was posted. So I'm not sure. But I know it's going to be that one person that says, Hooga, this is old. We've been new to that. And, you know, it's new to me. And I know that there's others out there that if it's new to me, it's definitely new to them. And they never seen this picture as well. However, I would like to use this picture to get the message out there that FYB J may attach to it and also speak on a few things concerning these guys in Chicago that actually were once affiliated. Now, it looks like it was an Instagram post FYB J may made. But for some reason, when I went back to look for it on his page, it was nowhere to be found. So I don't know if he deleted it or maybe I just happened to miss it, but I don't see it up. However, let's focus on the message. Now, one thing I've learned about Chicago doing these videos earlier on and speaking to people from Chicago behind the scenes that are related to some of your favorite drill rappers or drill guys or very close to them in some kind of way. I realized that every last one of these guys be literally affiliated with each other somehow, some way. Whether they used to be best friends, whether they are related through marriage, related through blood, um, uncles, nephews, cousins, the whole nine yards. Some of these guys who we see from the outside rapping about taking each other's lives used to really be best friends with each other. Or even worse, some of them are actually related to each other, knowing each other's mothers, grandmothers, brothers, etc. So maybe it's because we don't come from Chicago and their environment and that's why we can't understand how or why these guys beef with each other so hard. But the way FYB J Main broke it down in the post that I found on Reddit kind of opened my eyes to everything. And I figured I'll do this video because if it opened my eyes to understand why these things are the way they are, then I'm sure it can definitely open the eyes of others who just can't understand why bodies are dropping so frequent in Chicago and these guys actually are affiliated some way, somehow. Now, I feel in some cases, it's not even that these guys want to be the way that they are, but when you come from a killed or be killed environment, what do you do, right? It's only one thing to do, which is adapt to your surroundings. You become a product of that same environment, and now you develop the mentality of you either going to kill or be killed. It's just like the mentality of an animal in the jungle. And if there's no one to stop the cycle, then the cycle would just continue to go on and on and on so now as y'all know i've been one of the people in the beginning of the whole pushing peace movement that said that these guys don't want peace they just want the clout from it and in some cases i still believe some of them truly do but for the ones that actually want peace and the ones that put their image and character on the line in attempts to do so hats off to them because i honestly believe these guys don't want to be the way that they are but society and social media forces them to be right because nobody wants to be tough and have to be on point and looking over their backs 24-7. This is why a lot of the ones that actually do make it out of Chicago and end up getting to actually live life, we see them looking happier than ever and, and flashing money and for the most part staying out the way. Right? Look at FYBJ, man. Look at King Yellow. Look at THF Bezu. Look at um OTF. OTF DD, um, um, um Durkin them. Yeah, we've seen them be extra disrespectful in videos and making songs and dissing ops. But at the end of the day, once they were able to actually move out and do what they needed to do, that's exactly what they did. Now, some of them still diss ops, but it just is what it is. Now, when I talk about FYB J-Man, yes, we see him be extra disrespectful. Yes, we've seen him in videos and making diss songs. But after he gained his success with his platform and being able to provide for his family, 
Now we get to see the funny, goofy acting, smile all the time side of J-Man where he could be a little more vulnerable. Right? He don't got to be this tough, thuggish, towing guns and spinning blocks all the time. He ain't got to do it no more. Years ago, we didn't get to see that side of J-Man. But now that he's doing all right for himself, doing what he actually likes to do it without being criticized for it, and get to really be him, now we get to see the real J-Man. And I think there's a lot of guys from Chicago that's like that, where they have to maintain a certain image to the public due to their reputation. But when you get to know the real them, some of them are actually cooler than the fan. And I say that from personal experience because I've got a chance to have real one-on-one -on -one conversations with some of these guys behind the scenes. And like I said, it's a whole different demeanor from what you see on social media, from talking to them, you know, personally one-on-one. -on -one. Right. But anyway, let's get into it. FYB J Main revealed a baby picture that shows him and 600 member C Day. Um, as y'all know right now, C Day is currently incarcerated for an alleged body that him and Rondo Number Nine was accused of, and recently he's been fighting to get an appeal on his 30 plus year sentence. Now I don't know if maybe FYB J Main was tired of hiding that him and C Day is cool, and maybe it gets to him behind the scenes because he can't fully express how he feels about someone he once called his friend. Or maybe he just being the first one to do something like this, hoping it gets everyone to realize that it's deeper than all this drill stuff. Because let's be real, at the end of the day, right? All them spinning blocks and doing whatever you do. Now look, a 30 year sentence. So when you ask yourself at the end of the day, we was young doing all that. Now I'm stuck here doing 30 some years. Was it all worth it? So maybe guys will realize that instead of beefing with each other, we're stronger together and we can make a change, but it starts with us first, right? But anyway, I want to get into what FYB j -Man had to say in the caption as well, because I think he made a lot of sense and hopefully this message can reach others out there and potentially make a change in Chicago some way, somehow. Now, FYB j -Man took to his Instagram and revealed the picture of him and C-Day and in the caption, he would say, quote, Halloween party 18 years ago, before the word I was created, Courtney and Man Man, or C Day and J Man, if you're not from my city, you will never understand it. Cause even when you is from my city, we still don't. We just accept this life ish for what it is. Cause we never had a chance growing up in Chicago. Cause it's kill or be killed. That's why everybody dead or in jail is sick as hell, and the cycle continues. What I learned is nobody wins, and it really ain't no sides in this ish. Everybody just know everybody, and we all living to die. So just enjoy life while you still can. Pray hands. Hashtag rest up all the fallen soldiers. Now, once again, I don't know how old this post was, but I just recently seen it on Reddit and it made me think about how close a lot of these guys who call themselves ops actually are. And I do know that it's a lot of blood that's been shed during the course of the drill scene. But if these guys can get it together and put it to the side, they can really start something big and put Chicago in a totally different light. Like he said, it really isn't no size because somehow a lot of them are related or affiliated. They all know everybody, right? A lot of these guys' parents be cool with each other. Meanwhile, they into it heavy with each other. That must be a crazy feeling, honestly. Imagine me being brothers with somebody and I'm cool with his brother, but our brothers are into it with each other. So we can't really kick it because our brothers are into it with each other. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, y'all, if I could use this platform to get a message out there like that, I'm all for it. Um, it's 2024. I think the main focus should be getting to a bag and taking care of the family. The beefing is old. And the streets ain't the same. Everybody's telling, even your own homies, who you would never expect to. They're telling. Then you got guys backdooring each other and it's being glorified. So it's no reason to want to be in the streets these days. You know, there's no money. The objective right now, get to a bag, you know, enjoy life. It's short, right? Life is short. So are you going to spend it having to look over your back and worry about losing your life? Or are you going to try to make the most out of it, right? So y'all let me know how y'all feel and what y'all think about this. What do you think about some of these guys beefing and still being related or affiliated with each other somehow, some way? Um, Because I've been to a lot of these guys who are affiliated with each other or related. But to see the picture of FYB, J-Man, and C-Day, then to read the caption, it's, you know, just a little different seeing it, man. Because then I started thinking about my friends and how I would feel if I was really into it with someone I once was so close with. And we're not talking about being into it with them, like when I see you, I'm going to beat you up. Nah, these guys are really talking about 
taking each other's lives as if they was never cool with each other. That's crazy. But once again, like he explained, at the end of the day, it's a kill or be killed situation where even if I don't want to do that to you, I fear that you might do it to me. So I got to do it to you because we don't get no do overs in life. So if I hesitate and you do it to me, then I'm gone. When I could have had the op. Man, it's just crazy. But like I said, y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.